Welcome into the video. I am your tech guy Wayne and today I want to show you how to install a memory card in your Samsung Galaxy A26. Let's go ahead and get started. Now in the box of your phone you'll see a tool that looks like this. This is called a SIM ejector tool and this is what is used to pop out the tray so that we can put in this micro SD card. Okay so your tray is going to be on the left side of the phone. We're just going to insert it like this and give it a push. There's our tray. Now this is where your phone SIM card goes with your service. And then here we will basically put the card in and all you're trying to do is fit it plush in the slot. Okay, now if I tilt it sideways like this, you should not see it sticking out at all. All right, and a good test is if you turn it over and it doesn't fall out, you're probably in good shape. So now, Let's take it and let's just insert it back. And be careful because as I hit bent it, it essentially popped out. So let's try again. Give it a good push. And very carefully hold and slide back into that slot. And I'm just sort of pressing as I go. And it should slide right in, okay? If you try to put it back in, and it, it doesn't seem like it's going in smooth, then take it out and make sure that it's totally flat first because you don't want to mess up that slot. Very important slot. Again, that's the slot where your, your carrier uh, SIM card goes and your micro SD card. So you just want to be really careful. So, okay, our next step is we're going to swipe down from the top of the screen and you should see this pop-up that says SD card inserted. So that is your sign that the phone is reading your memory card properly. Very important. Now, before I move forward, I just want to make a quick point. Make sure you're buying quality memory cards. You don't want to buy off brand or aftermarket with memory cards. Go with a quality brand because sometimes they're not read in all phones or they will work for a few weeks and then they'll stop working. So um, I like to stick with Samsung, SanDisk, PNY, Seagate. Um, those are usually the, the top brands when it comes to memory cards. If you've never heard of the brand, I would probably stay away from it just because you don't want to have any issues with the card. So now that we can see our card is uh, inserted and the phone is reading it, the next step is we want to go to our settings. So swipe down from the top of the screen in the upper right corner, you'll see the settings wheel. Tap on that settings wheel. You'll want to swipe down and go to the device care section and then go to storage. Now on the first page, you will see your internal storage and it will say internal storage. And when you swipe to the left, it'll switch to your SD card storage. So this is how you can see how much storage is the total card and how much is currently being used. So this card is currently, it's a, a 128 gig micro SD card and 55% of that card is already being used. So I've already have 71 gigs that are being taken up, but I still have, you know, 128 minus 71, I still have that left. So this is where you can go to monitor how much space you have left. And you always wanna to try to keep that card uh, with, with plenty of space. Now, the next step is we're gonna hit our home button. We're gonna to go to the camera because we want to change the settings so that when you take pictures and videos, Instead of them saving on the internal storage, you want them to be saved to the micro SD card. You always want to keep your phone storage freed up and have plenty because, you know, if you want to download an app or if there is a big update on the phone, you need that space. And if you don't have it, the phone runs slower and then you can't download certain things. And it's a sort of a chain reaction of downward spiraling that can basically stop the phone from working well. So. Open the camera right after you install the memory card and you'll see a pop-up that should come up and ask you if you want to change where the pictures are saved. Now the pop-up did not come up, which is fine. We're gonna go to the settings. First tap on uh, this button here and then tap on settings and then we'll swipe up and Go to storage location. Currently it says internal storage. We're gonna tap and just change it to SD. Okay, next I wanna show you how to move pictures from the internal storage of your phone 
over to the micro SD card. So uh, some of you guys might have purchased a memory card because your storage is already full and you're just trying to free up space. So here's what you're gonna do. Swipe up and go to your Samsung folder and here you'll go to My Files. Now, you'll have under storage, you'll have internal storage and you'll have SD card. Go to internal storage, go to DCIM. Now, this is, it's a folder you'll see on every phone and it's basically where your camera always saves pictures. It's always in the DCIM folder. Now, let's go to camera and these are all the pictures right now that are saved on the internal storage of the phone. Okay, first let's tap on the three dots and go to view and let's change it to grid. When you change it to grid, it, it makes it a bit easier for you to see the pictures. Now you can move some pictures or all the pictures, it's up to you. I'm gonna show you how to move some and then I'll show you how to take all. So if we hold down on just one picture for one second, you'll see little bubbles are gonna pop up next to each picture. Now the easiest way to take every picture and just select it is tap on the all button in the corner here. This selects all the pictures that are currently in this folder. And then from there you can simply just hit the move button down here and then we'll move it over to the memory card. Now, if you only wanna take a few pictures, I can hold down on this one picture and then I can randomly go through and select certain ones. In most cases, it's better to just move everything but this would be how you would just move some. So we've selected a couple and then we would hit the move button right here. Now I'm gonna to go to the corner and hit all cause I wanna take all the pictures on the phone and I just wanna put them on the memory card. Now I'm gonna tap on the move button. You don't wanna hit copy because if you hit copy, it's gonna keep a copy on the internal storage and then it'll put the other copy on the memory card. We want to permanently move them, not just put a copy on the memory card. So tap on move. And from here, where it says internal storage, tap there, and then tap on SD card. And then go to DCIM, and then we're gonna hit move here. And now it's gonna take all 92 pictures and move them from the internal storage over to the SD card. This way you're actually freeing up space on your phone and hopefully if your phone is full, this will help to free up enough space for it to begin to move uh, nice and smooth and quick. So that is the process of moving uh, pictures and videos over to that memory card. I'll make sure to link on screen right here to some good memory card recommendations if you wanna get a memory card for your phone. All right, all of our pictures are now moved. Now, the very last thing that I wanna show you is how to back up your data to a micro SD card. Now, this can be done for many different reasons. Um, if you were about to get rid of this phone and you wanted to back up the data first before you got rid of it, this is one thing you could do. Swipe up, go to your Samsung folder, and look for the Smart Switch app. Hit more, continue, more, allow, and then you'll tap on the memory card icon in the upper right corner. And it's gonna ask where you want to back up your data. You're gonna hit SD card. It'll scan the phone and look through all the files and see what things it would need to back up. And then it's gonna to check to make sure you have enough room on the memory card. And it's gonna give you an option to select. If you don't wanna move everything, you just wanna move certain things. Normally most people just hit everything Hit next, and then it will begin to back up all your data to the memory card. I'm gonna stop it for now because I don't wanna finish the process. Um, some people, as a practice, will buy a large memory card and they will basically put it in their phone once every other month and they will back up all their data and then they will take that memory card out and stick it in a drawer and the reason for this is because if your phone is ever lost, you lose a lot of information. But just by backing up your data, you know, once a month or once every two months, that's gonna back up everything from your um, or text messages, your call logs, uh, app data, it's backing everything up on the phone. So as a practice, this is a great way to 
sort of save your data, especially if you're someone who tends to lose their phone a lot or you have really important information on your phone that you don't want to lose, I would encourage you to back it up to a memory card. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of our video. If you got value out of this video, please stop and bump that like button down below. It takes seconds and it really does help the channel so much. The more likes that YouTube sees, the more it will push the video out to more people. And that is a part of how uh, the channel is able to continue to grow and succeed. So if you can do that, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and also, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. We have more videos coming on the Samsung A26 and we don't want you to miss them. This is where you go to get all your information to learn how to use all the things on this phone. So make sure you subscribe. I'm going to link here to my playlist that will have more helpful videos on the A26. And here I'll link to another video as well. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.